nakita ko sa inyo. So, umahabot din, of course, uh, all the metals and um, proper, okay, all the metals ay meron tayong failure point or the fracture point. But in this point, as you can see, the slope, dito natin makikita yung stiffness, yung this, uh, material, the ability of material to resist deformation. Okay? Hindi pa siya nade-deform. Okay? So, okay, so that is the stiffness. Ulitin ko, stiffness is the stability of a material to resist deformation. Okay? Resist deformation. Okay, again, another pala. Another mechanical properties of the metal which gives the elasticity. It is the property of a material to regain its original shape after deformation when the external forces are removed. So, this property is desirable for materials used in tools and machine. It may be noted that steel is more elastic than rubber. Wow! So, ulitin ko lang ha. It may be noted that yung steel daw is more elastic than rubber. Hmm! It's interesting. So, sige, let's uh, discuss further dito sa ating uh, another properties yung elasticity ito yung ano yung pagkakaiba ng elasticity sa plasticity okay yung elasticity bumabalik sa original shape while ang plasticity it is the property of that retains the deformation produced under load permanently retains the deformation produced under load permanently this property of the material is necessary for forgings in stamping images or coins and in ornamental work okay so as you can see in the figure um kapag mag start pa lang elastic region ang tawag doon mag start pa lang itong part na to ng elastic region uh Ibig sabihin, bumabalik pa siya sa original shape. Pag plastic region na siya, parang uh, example mo na lang yung rubber band versus the plastic. Pag ang inun inunat ta, so plastic, uh, i-stretch natin yung plastic, hindi siya bumabalik sa talaga sa original, uh, sa original, uh, ano ba? Yeah, yung original niya. So, talagang doon na lang siya. Ganun na lang yung pagiging... Uh, yeah, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung sabihin ko. Ba basta, kung, kung i-differentiate natin or kung bumigyan natin ng halimbawa yung elasticity then plasticity, as you can see, plastico versus the plastic, makikita naman natin that elasticity, bumabalik siya sa original shape, plasticity hindi na. Okay? So, ganun lang naman po ang explanation niyan. Another pro mechanical properties of metal, kailangan nating mas i-consider which is the ductility. Kaya sinasabi ay kailangan ba ng more ductile? Okay, it is the property of material enabling to be drawn into the wire with application of a tensile force. So, a ductile material must be both strong and plastic. The ductility is usually measured by the terms percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area. So, the ductile material commonly used in engineering practice in order of diminishing ductility are mild, steel, copper, aluminum, nickel, zinc, tin, and lead. So, take down notes. Okay. Note, the ductility of material is commonly measured by means of the percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area in the pencil strap. Okay. So, as you can see, ductile and brittle materials, the difference between of the this brittleness and the ductility. Uh, in the nasa elastic zone, usually you brittle, okay, you brittle material, you point on brittle material. And dito na yung proportional limit then the yield point. Okay. So in this part, at the right from the ultimate strength. Hanggang sa may breaking point, ang dyan yung, yung, yung dyan matitest yung ductile, ductility of the material. Okay. Nasa plastic zone siya. As you can see in this figure. Okay. So, let's discuss the brittleness. 
Okay, brittleness. Brittleness, it is the property of a material opposite to ductility. It is the property of breaking material with little permanent distortion. Brittle materials when subjected to tensile loads snap off without giving any sensible elongation. Cast iron is a brittle material. Uh, just to take the nose, cast iron is a brittle material. So, ito yung property of material opposite. This is very opposite to the ductility. Property of breaking material with little permanent distortion. Okay? So, ito. As you can see in the figure, this one is the highly ductile fracture. Ductile fracture, and this is the brittle fracture. Okay. Okay, another property of the metal, which is the malleability, it is a special case of ductility, which permits material to be rolled or hammered into thin sheets so they are mal malleable. Okay. Malleable material should be plastic, but it is not essential to be so strong. The malleable material is commonly used in engineering practice in order to of diminishing, diminishing uh, malleability are lead, lead, soft steel, wrought iron, copper, and aluminum. As you can see in this figure, uh, malleability, which is metal hammered into the thin sheets, ito yun, gold is the most malleable metal. So, na, kaya nagagawa siyang pinakamaliliit. Okay. Thin sheets. Okay. Yan, ganyan po ang gold. Okay. Another uh, mechanical property so metal, this is the toughness. It is the property of material to resist fracture due to high impact loads like hammer blows. The toughness of the material decreases when it is heated. So, kapag nainitin siya, nagdi-decrease ang toughness of the material. It is measured by the amount of energy that a unit volume of the material has absorbed after being stressed up to the point of fracture. This property is desirable in parts subjected to shock and impact loads. Okay, here is uh, the, the figure, okay, just to show you yung toughness. So, in this part, the higher the stress, uh, nakikita natin there's a small toughness. For example, this uh, sample of small toughness in ceramics. Daling mabreak. Diba? Large toughness, metals. Okay, this is the, uh, and the very small toughness, unreinforced polymers. The lower the, stre the stress, very small din ang toughness niya. Pero kapag uh, itong green part na to, green portion, uh, which is classified, ito, classified siya as large toughness. Sample is the metal. Okay, brittle fracture, small toughness po yan. Ductility fracture, large toughness po yan. Okay, I think this is the last one, the uh, last property of metal, which is the machinability. It is the property of a metal, of a material uh, that refers to relative case, which... Um, which a material can be cut. The machinability of material can be measured in a number of ways, such as comparing the tool life for cutting different materials of or trust required to remove the material at some given rate of the energy required to remove a unit volume of the material. It may be noted that brass can be easily machined than steel. Uh, just on a trivia, brass can be easily machined than steel. So, and again, this is the property of material that refers to a relative 